your land its rain and the right season and to bless everything you undertake. You will lend to many nations and not borrow, no debt. Adonai will make you the head and not to tell, and you will be only above and never below if you will listen to and observe and obey the mitzvahs of Adonai your God and not turn away from any of the words I am ordering you today, neither to the right, neither to the left, to follow other gods and serve them. And that's what happens. A lot of this stuff that has been placed in front of you, let me tell you, I told you, you you, you listened to a hook and you got took. That's right, because let me tell you something. And I'm not telling you not to give. I'm telling you that we got to give according to what we're believing God for. And so whatever, you know, remember that tray offering and, and you're giving unto God. Your, your giving has to be unto God, not because somebody gives you a book and they tell you a series and this is going to make me rich or this is going to make me blessed or this is going to make me heal. Now nah, you're giving because Yehovah has moved you to give and whatever he gave you, he wants you to give it back to him. And once you give that back to him, that releases, that releases, huh? That releases another realm, another level. Because guess what? God knows he can trust you with the little so he can give you more. The bigger and the bigger and the bigger. You earned, uh, you learned the art of transfer. God put something in my left hand and he places it in my right hand to, to give it to somebody in their left hand. I don't know, Sia. Yeah. It's, it's, it's transfer, huh? It's, it's trading, huh? It's, 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 the, it's, it's a different type of stock market. Oh, Shabbat. I'm telling you because guess what? These people with these gimmicks and mimics, they're going to always have to come up with something. And I know what I'm talking about. In order to, in the market and Wall Street, listen, in order for anything to be a successful trade, something has to move. And let me tell you something. It used to be cows and pigs and cows and all that stuff. And they did predictions. Oh, Shabbat. And that's the same way they do with these things that they got going on out here. They're giving predictions. Well, you know, if I, if I, if I, if I broadcast over this realm, I broadcast this, and this is how much I'll get. And this, this, and blah, 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 blah. And, and then they got the nerve to say there's a sale. Huh? Now you are, listen, if somebody tell you that they're giving you something to God and they say it's a sale. Oh, it's now you, you can get this at a discount price today. I mean, it, you and, and don't let them put that $10 and the key thing is 99 cent, huh? Come on now, y'all. You got, or 9.99, just, just, just for today. We have a special offer, huh? Listen, you got to think about this. Don't get caught up in this stuff. Don't, and listen, if, if you're doing it, listen, you ain't got to say nothing to me. Just repent. Amen. God's opening up a door. Repent. You don't want to be like Jezebel because guess what? He gave her a space too and she didn't take it. So you can talk about me all you want. I'm just telling you what happened to Jezebel. Now, uh, you know, you can play with it if you want. And Job, I mean, sorry, in the book of Genesis, uh, uh, thank you for your patience. <clears throat> thank you for your patience. In the book of Genesis, uh, chapter, chapter 12. Chapter 12. I'm going to start at verse 1. Now, Adonai said to Abram, get yourself out of your country, away from the kinsmen and away from your father's house and go to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you and I will make your name great and you are to be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you but I will curse everyone who curses you and by you, all families of the earth will be blessed. Now, you know, over a few months ago, God was saying to us, even when we were praying and we were ministering, he says, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to empower and, and I'm going to pour into you the blessing that you would what become the blesser. God is giving you the stuff to be a bless. He's making you the blessing and making you blessed to be what the blesser. And that's what it's for. It's 
this. Listen, let me tell you something. When you understand that, let me tell you something. The world, the body of, uh, uh, as you call it, the body of Christ, the believers. Listen, we're no longer getting welfare. We're no longer on public assistance. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're no longer seeing the people homeless. Oh, Shabbat. Um, the, the members in your churches and, and, and in your congregations, they all got their lights on. Oh, Shabbat. There's food for them. Under the Osaya. The kids are able to go to college. They're, 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 they don't, they're not walking around with holes in the bottom of their shoes. They're not wondering where, uh, where they're going to get their next meal. Why? Because uh, God has made you a, a blessing to be the blesser. And so you, 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 you become blessed is your title and your position. And then that the action is so that you can be the blesser. And what is the blesser? You're going to bless somebody. Oh, Shabbat. It's not for you to go ahead. Let me tell you something. And, um, and, and, oh, I got to save. I got to save something for my children. I got to save an inheritance for my children's children and all that. Now, if you move in the things of God, guess what? Just like he said for Abram or Abraham, guess what? Every family on the earth will know the no blessings by you, oh, Shabbat. And I'm telling you, when you know that, guess what? My seed, seed shall be blessed. Why? Because I fall under the line of the kingdom of Almighty Jehovah. And so, therefore, it's endless blessings. It's it's a stream. It's a covenant. God promised not to just bless me, but my seed seed. And then in James chapter two, I'm almost done. Uh, 15 and 16. Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. And someone says to him, Shalom, keep warm and eat heartily without giving him what he needs. What good does that do? None. I don't need you giving me a bunch of scriptures and a bunch of stuff and telling me to sow $50 and $40 and stand in this line and, and, and that line and telling people the reason why you broke is because you, you, you got to believe God to give in the offerings and this and that. And I'm going to train you this and that, you know, and God bless me and, and I'm not going to be in poverty. Listen, you know, right there that that's a Listen, you know, that's a jokester. What did they used to call them? Uh, yeah, jokester, whatever it is. You know, you know that those, uh, uh, no, shyster, shyster. That's what the old mothers would call them, shysters. Amen. And they start, this stuff ain't just start. You know how we used to look at those old cowboy movies and they would have the, the, the guy with the crusade and the wagon and whatever. And he always has his little curtain and he had gimmicks and mimics. So gimmicks and mimics have always been around where people have been exploiting and polluting the word of God. Amen. They try to put God's seal on all that stuff they do. God help you. And listen, I'm telling you right now, God's going to, he's going to, he sees you and he's going to deal with you. But I'm talking to you that have been hooked and took. Listen, let me tell you something. I could write a book about it, but guess what? Don't do it no more. You allow this thing to be what? Personal, says the Lord. Personal. God is going to bless you. He's going to give us this wealth, not for us, but that what we can be a blessing to someone else. My last scripture in John, in John chapter 12, the gospel, of John chapter 12, verse eight, you always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. We will always have the poor among us. Jesus said, but you won't always have me. So you got to allow yourself to understand what God has given you is for what? Somebody else. It's for the kingdom. We're just tools that move in and out of the kingdom. Now, I'm telling you today, this I pray that this was a blessing to you. But I'm telling you today that we want to be mindful of, of one thing. We want to be mindful of the things of God and others. And we thank God. Father, we thank you. We thank you. I thank you. I thank you for your divine word. Oh, Yes, 
Yes, Lord. Quicken thy me in thy word, O Shabbat. Quicken me, quicken me, quicken me, quicken me. Move me from here, O Shabbat. Move me from here, God. And quicken me, quicken me, quicken me in thy word, O Shabbat. Allow thy word to manifest. Let make it personal today. The angels of Jehovah be dispatched upon your people. Let not one a shaman, not one be the same, but the same presence, the same anointing be released in their homes, their cars, in the hospital rooms, in their jail cells, in their, over their marriages, over their relationships, over their finances, in their, in their churches, wherever they are. Speak, Father. Shabbat. And allow the people to receive. And Father, I give you glory and I give thy name praise. Now let signs and wonders manifest all over the land and you be satisfied and please uh, uh, with our sacrifice today. We thank you for your divine presence being with us. We're so grateful. I'm so grateful, Father, that you've allowed us to partake of thy presence today. I'm ever so grateful. I love you for it. I appreciate you for it. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your now word over your people. Bless your people, O Shabbat, abundantly. I speak it over them. The blessings of Jehovah. The blessings of Jehovah over you, man, a woman, boy, and girl. O Shabbat, O The needs come to your people today with open hands, palms lifted up unto thee. Father, ready to receive the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings. I release the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the wealth of the blessings, the purpose of the blessings, the power of the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, the blessings, bless and they become the blesser. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, it is so sealed for you, God's people, under the sound of my voice. Amen and amen. Well, that ends this episode of I'm Turning the Wealth over to you, part four. I tell you. I'm so excited. I'm 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 excited. And just remember today's we talked about you may have the whole thing backwards. Amen. And don't you forget that God says, I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee and I will make thy name great. Get out of the world system. Pry yourself away from your dependence upon your old economic base. I will bless you. You will have a new economic base. And lastly, thou shalt be a blessing in thee. All the families of the earth shall be blessed. Now if this message was a blessing to you, I need you to do me a favor. Listen, here I am. I'm asking you to sow a seed, a sacrificial seed of your time. That's what I got on my mind. What do you want me to do, Zuri? Okay, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I'm glad you asked me. I know you out there and you're wondering what I want you to do. I want you to share this with 10 people. I want you to share this message with 10 people and tell them to share it with 10 people. I want them to download the app. I need one million people to download the I Won't Miss Live radio app. And what do you got to do to do this? Real simple. I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. Those of you that have Apple devices, go to iTunes Store. Those of you that have Android devices, you go to Google Play Store. Those of you that just want to place it on your PC or your laptop, I want you to go to Google. And I want you to type in I won't miss one word. I won't miss. I W O N T M I S S. Won't miss live radio. I won't miss live radio. Listen, go there. The app is totally free. Amen. It's totally free. And because let me tell you something Yeshua the Messiah laid on the cross and he bared it. He, it was already paid. God, he already gave you deposit for this word, Oshab, through his son. And so it's totally free. Download the app 
and then all the messages, over 400 messages, and they're all free. This series is going to be on there. I'm going to continue with this series on I'm Turning the Wealth Over to You part. Uh, uh, tom tomorrow will be part five. Tell somebody about it. And guess what? Listen, let me tell you something and, and, and give it to somebody. That's what I need you to do. I need you to help me get this stuff out there. I'm excited for your love and everybody that has been praying for my family with the loss of my great aunt, you know, and helping me pray for my mother. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, we were praying for my mother and my father and, and I believe.